For those of you who don't know how to use Blender and you want to make yourself some GFX, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video how to make GFX in Roblox Studio. Okay, now obviously it won't be exactly like the GFX that you see, but I will be showing you the closest thing to that. So let's get right into the video. First of all, you want to open Roblox Studio and then what you want to do is press on the normal base plate or whatever you want. I'm going with the basic base plate and then what you want to do is you want to download this plugin that I have over here. It is Load Character by Already Pro. If you don't know where to find that, you can go into Toolbox, which is up here in the Homes tab. And then you want to go to Plugins and you can search load character it's right here load character it is the free one there is a one one for a hundred robux if you have a hundred robux you can buy this but this is the free one by already pro now once you have that what you want to do is open it load character and then you want to enter your username right here so my username your exact username with all caps and everything then what you want to do is select spawn at origin you want to make sure that is on and then spawn r6 now you should have your character spawn in so here right here is my character and uh now what you want to do is place him or your character in the back in a background so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to toolbox and then I'm just going to search or make sure this drop down is on models and then what you want to do is search for something like beach or whatever whatever background you want so uh, if you want just like a small like a beach okay so here we go i just searched room and then this comes up it is a as i think it's an aesthetic room by someone I can't, oh yeah just just called aesthetic room um so wait i just spawned in two by mistake my bad anyways here we go here's the room so i'm gonna put my character in the room like this now he is a bit big actually no that that is perfect anyways what you want to do now to move the body around all you need to do is you need to go to skate uh rotation so you click on that make sure that is clicked and then you want to press on the drop down arrow by your name by your character and then you want to select all of the parts you want moved so all my head accessories hold control and click what you want and then head so these are all of my head parts now what you can do sorry is you can scale this okay just like that you want to select all of that and then you want to rotate that so as you can see it clips to each like things but you if you want to move it just just slightly you want to press on uh model and then on rotate you want to change this to zero studs so you want to change that to zero press zero and enter now what you can do is change it however much you want so i'm going to rotate it to like there and then you can select the arm so left arm and then you want to rotate this if you rotate it upwards it will change the the shape of it but you just want to press on the move and then you can move it to wherever you want so right now i'm going to rotate more like that up like this there we go now you want to press on the next arm that you want now i'm just going to select the leg and i'm going to change this just a bit and you want to move that a bit out and there we go so this is all i'm just gonna do for now you can do whatever you want with the body now as you can see there is a name tag and if you don't want that you want to press on this and you want to change the name of it so as you can see it shows my username you want to right click and then you want to press on rename now just put a space and enter and there we go now you don't have anything now what you want to do is if you don't want this background so through the window as you can see there's base plate all you need to do is in workspace you want to type base plate and you want to press on that and you want to right click and say delete now you just have this now what you can do is you can screenshot this and use it however you like 
so if you don't know how to screenshot most computers have it or just download any app that allows you to screenshot anyways that is going to be it from me for today's video if you guys enjoyed and if this was useful please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe before you leave i will see you in the next one goodbye